Sport Fishing on the Fly is brought to you by Maui Jim Sunglasses. First Tellurium Corp, the future of mining. And Hardy, rods and reels. Uh, hello everyone, this is Rick Pasek, a fly fish fanatic, and welcome to another edition of On the Bench with Sport Fishing on the Fly. Today we are going to tie a super simple yet super deadly and old pattern. It's just a really simple dry fly mosquito pattern. So let's let's uh, not uh, mess around. It's a fair, like I said, it's fairly simple, but let's get her going. So we'll start off with a Hens BL599 in a size 14. Uh, just a nice little curved, um, small shank, curved barbless hook, whatever you like using. For the uh, body, it's gonna be a separate fly nano silk in black. Uh, for the uh, rib, we're going to be using some Semperfly 0.1 mil or any extra small bright silver wire. And then for the uh, hackle, just some white cock hackle. Done. Simple, simple, simple. So, try to keep this body nice and thin and nice and small. Uh, make sure to counterclockwise spin your, your thread, keeping that thread flat. I stop there and I'll add in my extra small bright silver wire. And I stop about there. That's about where my hackle's going to start. Just get that wire in there. Like I said, keep this body thin, thin, thin. Super effective. I love these little mosquito patterns. They, uh, it's old, old, old school pattern. I mean, it's probably a 200 and 250 year old uh, pattern. Um, but it's one that just keeps producing, right? I mean, um, it's a mosquito slash midge, adult midge, whatever you want to call it, right? So, okay, stop there. Take my wire, counter wrap. Two, three, four, five, six, seven is what I usually like doing. So there's about seven and a half. Just make sure that's tied in. Helicopter off your wire. Unless you got a crappy pair of scissors, then you can use those. Don't use your good scissors on wire. And then I'll come back a little bit there. And I'm going to reposition my hook in the vise so it's a little flatter. Then I'm going to take a piece of hackle here. And I'm just going to tie this in. Nice and tight. Take my hackle plier, and then I like doing. Came off. This might, I actually might grab a different feather here. This is one that I've been using. And it's just the last little bit of it. I think I'll just grab a new one, just to make sure. Because there's not much left of that last one, so. So again, I want to have the uh, I want to have the shiny side or the it would be a colored side, but this is white. So out on this cape in this uh, pattern. Uh, you don't want to crank too hard on this with your your nano silks GSPs because you will cut the, uh, the stem, right? So okay, I like doing between four and six turns. So one, two, three. Four. Let's, I'm going to stop at four with this one. It's a fairly full feather. Come in front, over top, over top. Undo my hackle prior. Stroke all that material back, including your hackle. Get it all back out of the way. Try not to trap any of those hackle fibers. Build just the tiniest head, just helping it, just ever so slightly forcing that, that those, uh, hackle fibers in the reverse direction. 
but ever so slightly. Two, three, four turn whip finish. I'll go around after I do about a dozen of them. I go around and I'll, I'll either head cement or UV resin um, each one of them. Um, I usually whoop, move my vise there on you. Um, I usually do a bunch at the same time. And there it is. Super simple little mosquito pattern. Like I said, a whole bunch of them. Some of them I'll put a little red bud on. Some of them I'll just uh, 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 put, I'll put, instead of a silver wire, I'll use a extra fine hollow tinsel, but really, really small. Um, sometimes I'll use a red wire, but this is probably my favorite. It's just the straight black and silver. Really simple, really easy to tie. A little on the small side, so um, I tie these in anywhere from a size 12 to a size 18. Um, and uh, I mean, even 20s, I don't like tying them that small, but this is one of those patterns that you do want some of the smaller sizes in. So, alrighty, super, super simple. Don't UV resin the body. You could put a little bit of uh, uh, like a Sally Hansen's Hard as Nails or a, or a Crazy Glue on the body if you want it to last a little longer, but don't use UV resin. It'll make that sink, right? And you don't want it, this to sink. You want this to stay up in that, in that water, um, right up in that top water, right? So, alrighty. Hope you guys enjoyed that one, and uh, thanks for uh, um, watching another episode of On the Bench with Sports Fishing on the Fly. Tie lines, everyone.